We're starting to get the main area wrapped up. Those privacy screens between the hotel rooms are installed. We've got the planters there, the PVC ones that arrived off the ship. Marco's starting to put some dirt and plants in those as well. There's just a lot of activity around the common space in the hotel rooms. Everything is slowly coming together. There are four inches. The planter boxes are getting finished. We've made some adjustments in the concrete. We've made some adjustments in the framing. So now we just have to get the siding on these things, square them all up, make sure they're nice and level, get the top cap on. So I've got Dean give me a hand with that. Got some lumber going through the saw, some nails going in. Another day or so, I should have all those planters wrapped up. And hopefully, when Sarah comes out to see them, she will say, perfect, looks great. There's so many things happening right now. We've got the electricians working, we've got painters on the go, we've got the million tasks that we need to try and get wrapped up so that we can get this place open. What do you want to put this on a set? Well, that's got to be on its own switch. So you'll have to try and fish it down in between the strappy and the drywall. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. So it's been a year that we've been down here. Uh, the original plan was to have this place open and operating in six months, which was definitely unrealistic, and we have blew past that. This goes on this ceiling, right? No, the flat is for the ceiling. OK. And then same in 103. The project is insane. Um, so we've pushed the opening a couple times. Looking good. Yeah, Joe. Oh, yeah. So we just got to get this place open. We got to get this place open. Hey, you. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> just looking at drawings for the clubhouse. It's weird to come home here and. And what? There's, well, there's just a lot of creature comforts that we don't have on the highland. I know, it feels good to be home. Part of me didn't expect to be home until we were finished. Well, but now weird. that we're home, I feel like... We should be finished? Or we shouldn't be home yet. You and I have flown in and out, in and out, but this is the first time, I think, as a family, we've collectively come home and sort of said, where do we go from here? We sat here a year ago. So excited to walk out the door. I'm so scared. A little bit. Pack as if... We don't know when we're coming back. <laughs> it's just a weird transition that I think I feel a little lost as to what's next. What's next for the kids? What's next for us? Well, we can't stop now. We've worked seven days a week for a year. I don't feel the way we're operating right now is sustainable. I know how hard you've been working. I know you're a perfectionist, but we have to communicate more. We have to take some time away. And every now and then when but I, I guess say... I'm asking for a plan. Like, it's great to say we need to set up some time. We need to get away. But we don't. We haven't in a year. We've never prioritized our marriage. And no, no, I'm saying to no. you, I won't. I think we it's need the to classic, figure this out. You need to come. I mean, you can't work so late. We need more family time, hold more on, time hold together. On, hold on, Stop. I'm not saying any of those things. But we have way more things to accomplish. We can't you're, do all of it at the same time. No, you're totally hearing me incorrectly. I'm saying if you and I don't focus on ourselves and on our family, then why, why are we doing this? But we have to make sure we keep our eyes on the end goal. And there are some sacrifices you have to make. Both of us want to make sure this is successful. I think how we get there and what we choose to do as a family over these next six months is, is critical. I do understand. We've been working hard. We have a lot of difficult decisions to make every day. Yeah. We're in a foreign country. We're adjusting to everything. So we both have to make sure we're not losing our minds. Oh, and we'll build an entire hotel uh, and get our life savings back. So there has to be minor adjustments. We need to spend a little more time not talking about work 30 seconds before we fall asleep and get this done. I'm hoping we're at a point where we can work a little bit more as owners and carve a little bit of time away. Yeah, get focused again on why we're there, not just on the business and the enormity of the project, and take a little more time out for you and I and for the family. We went into this together. We should probably do our best to come out of this together. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the island! <laughs> when we're finished renovating the hotel, I, I don't know what's in the cards for us. I don't know how often we'll be 
there on the island. I don't know how often we'll be here. I think the next chapter of the book is full of blank pages. We are back on the island from a little time at home with the kids, just to regroup, re-energize, charge the batteries. And we're seeing all the progress through fresh eyes. The soffits are in. We just got to drill out where the pot lights are going, but all the wiring's there. OK. All the windows got painted out. These doors still have to get replaced. The hotel block is coming along. Thinking back almost a year ago, it's been quite a journey there. So it's termite infested. Termite infested. All the in-floor plumbing is rusted, decayed, falling apart. So we have to cut every single floor. Okay. This is basically worst case scenario. I don't know how we got here. It was just such a daunting task, and, and it continues to be. There's still a lot of work to do. Flooring's all in protected. We still gotta get the doors painted, get the hardware on. Still need the interior door for the bathroom. It's great to go into the rooms now and see them at the stage they're at. Now we have this Beautiful big shower where we originally had a tiny little vanity. It's a good layout. It certainly looks better and fresher and bigger than it was before. I think it looks That's ready nice for feature. furniture, basically. A little clean up. Let's get the door in first, finish the bathroom, and then you can... Yeah, yeah. It's more electrical out here. Yeah, you shouldn't touch that. That'd probably be your happiest day ever, wouldn't it? I'm on your team. Where are the goals? All right, let's do it, Jojo. We've been on this island for quite a while, and you know we've met a lot of people, uh, and we've made some great friends here. The kids have made some great friends too, and every now and then, there's a little friendly competition that breaks out. No, no, we get SJ. That's fair, that's fair. All right, buddy. Okay, come on. Get back here. Oh. <laughs> Charlie, you're on my team. Okay. Cover Adam. Push him down. Oh. I just yes! Woo! Pele! Oh, FIFA 2019. And I need a beer. It's all hands on deck today. We have a photographer on site who will be taking some photos of the finished spaces for the website. Sarah's hard at work with her team propping the villas and the hotel block patios. And I'm working with Dean finishing up the last few pieces of the palm tree planters by the deck. Is the bar open? Almost. Wow. Thank you. 